311 Griffin YouTube channel. Thought I'd kick today's video off with a little bit of Irish sounding music since it's St. Patrick's Day. And today we're going to do a little bit more skinning uh, using GIMP for DCS, making custom skins or templates uh, or textures, however you want to say it, for airplanes. We're going to start with the F 86, and one of the things that we're going to do today is we're going to I, I want to show some more specific things um, that you might be able to use to uh, take an existing template and turn it into the texture that you want and of course it kind of depends on what you're wanting to do how you might go about doing this but um, I'm using the F86 because it's a simple texture it's all one file for the for the main body of the plane and um, and uh, so I'm going to show how to take some of the, um, there, there's some layers here that might have some um, aspects that you want or some traits that you want to keep and some that you want to get rid of. And, and so I kind of want to show how to pull things off of one layer in GIMP and put it on another. Um, we're going to take this from start to finish. It's going to be several videos long because I'm wanting to get a lot more specific about um, how you go about doing this stuff. So uh, with that, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we have our template. This is basically the uh, the default template. And there's this layer here with all the color and words on it. So we're gonna duplicate that layer. I uh, pretty much always duplicate any layers that I'm gonna um, heavily edit. We're gonna also duplicate a couple of these. And if you wanna know what's on a layer, you can just make them go invisible and, uh, or, you know, yeah, uh, nullify them, make them go invisible, whatever, and then you can bring them back up and see what they are. So obviously this this one's all the yellow and the USAF and a bunch of the lines and things like that. And that other one we did was some of the, the darker shadowed regions around the intake and the exhaust. So I'm going to make a new layer as well. And, and that's the thing I'm going to, I'm going to pull a bunch of these items off of this layer and uh, put them on the new layer. So, actually, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just duplicate it again and, and delete some things off. So the tool I just selected that'll pull all the yellow things. It, it's gonna grab all the yellow off of the layer that I have selected. It's gonna select them actually. So, if I hit delete, it just it just deleted all of the yellow off of that layer. Okay, and I can also do all of the black off of that layer if I want. By by doing the same thing, I'll just use that same tool to grab it if I want to. That's not really what I'm after. Um, I would like to delete some of these lines off though. And you'll notice, so I, I grabbed uh, that like hand, hand select tool and I went all the way around those lines and I just hit delete and that gets rid of them. Um, you'll also notice that I went off of the page uh, a little bit and you can do that as long as you don't hit the scroll bars and it'll just select to the edge of your layer. Um, now I'm right now I'm just taking off the black bars around the yellow because I don't want those on this particular layer. At least I don't think I do. Some of this stuff I may undo later on. I'm just uh, doing some guesswork right now on what I want and what I don't want on certain layers. Um, so right now anywhere that I had a bar uh, like a yellow colored bar I'm going to remove the black outlining. Okay. And I've got to be careful not to accidentally grab anything else that I want to keep on this layer because right now my goal, in case you haven't figured it out, is to keep um, the roundels and, um, whoops, yep, let's go around all of that. I want to keep the USAF and the, the insignia and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, there we go. So now we've got a layer with the roundels and the USAF and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this red out of that. I'm not going to worry about the background red. I just want to take the main red out of it. So we've still got a duplicate of our full um, 
of, of our full uh, bit here. So now on this one, we're going to take out the USAF and the roundels and all that good stuff. But we want to make sure, whoops, I was, see I was on the wrong one. You got to be careful on your layers and, and make sure you've selected the correct one. Um, I'm making the other one out invisible so that I can see my progress a little bit better. Um, but now that I'm on the right one, I can take this stuff off. You can select this stuff um, kind of one at a time. You can select a lot of it all at once. It just kind of depends on what your what your goal is. Okay. Let's just do a box that makes it a little bit easier. And I'm going to take out all these little lines here as well. Whoops, I didn't really want to take the red out of that. All right, let's zoom in. The tool I've just selected is a, it's like the tool I used earlier where it selects a color, but it's only going to select a certain region. It's not going to select the color all over the page. It's just going to select whichever conti contiguous region you've clicked on. So I, you can go through and, and pull a lot of stuff out that way pretty quickly. Um, but you'll also notice that I'm leaving behind some, some little, uh, what would you call it, um, artifacts. So on especially on the roundels it's um, better just to go in and see all that. Um, it's better just to go in with the hand select tool or some other kind of a selection tool instead of doing the quick pick. Alright. Now see we've got basically what we're winding up with is we're winding up with the same thing that was on the base layer but on two different layers and that's going to allow us to go back in later and edit it so um, let's get all this stuff off of the tail that may or may not bug you you, you know you might want to keep that stuff um, well, I guess it doesn't matter if you're if you're switching layers, switching it so that you've got everything on two different layers and or three different or four different or whatever, then um, it you know it doesn't matter. You want to take it. You want to make sure things aren't duplicated on multiple layers. So um, to some lines here what that's weird okay yeah we're just getting rid of rid of some extra lines and um, because uh, We'll just have the, the roundels and the USAF and all the writing on this layer. So we'll get rid of all of that. There we go. So we've got a nice clean layer. And if we pop this back up, um, you know, I uh, shouldn't have gotten rid of the red lines on this one. So, but I've got my original that I can go down and grab that stuff off of and paste it back into the layer that I want. So, um, so yeah, I've got my colors in one layer, my words in another basically is essentially the way I'm looking at that. And so next time uh, we'll do a little bit different stuff. We'll, we'll go forward from where we're at now got some stuff separated out I've got to clean up those layers a little bit and then we'll um, we'll kind of use what we've set up to create our own custom skin 
and uh, maybe change some colors and some patterns and things like that. So um, that's it for this video. See you on uh, episode two.